Hi everyone. So today I'm going to tell you about a very, very interesting empirical finding in finance called the post earnings announcement drift or PEED. Now it's probably not as exciting as Tokyo Drift or any of the other 523 Fast and Furious movies, uh, but it's pretty close. So to set the stage, imagine that a company announces its quarterly earnings and that those earnings come out more than what investors or analysts were expecting. Uh, in other words, the company provides a positive earnings surprise. Now, what do you think would happen to the price of the stock on the day of the announcement? Well, one would expect that investors will get excited about the company, rush to buy the stock and cause the stock price to increase, right? And conversely, if the company provides a negative earnings surprise, meaning its earnings come out less than expected, you'd expect the stock to fall on the day of the announcement. Seems reasonable and uh, anecdotal evidence would suggest the same. So for instance, when on February 1, 2024, Facebook's parent company Meta announced that it earned $5.33 on a per share basis in the fourth quarter of 2023, it beat the consensus forecast by almost 40 cents. And on the day of the announcement, the stock price jumped by more than 20%. And similarly, when a few days earlier, Tesla announced that it earned 71 cents per share, it missed the Wall Street estimate by about two cents per share. And on the day of the announcement, Tesla's stock price declined by about 3.5%. All right, so all of this seems reasonable, seems to make sense, but what do you think happens to the prices of these stocks in the 30 to 90 days after they announce their earnings? Well, if stock markets are efficient in that investors immediately get and understand new information, and then almost immediately trade on that information, then any impact of a positive or negative earnings surprise should almost immediately get reflected in the stock price. In other words, whatever caused the company's earnings to be better or worse than expected, investors should immediately absorb that information on the day of the announcement and buy or sell the stock until the new price reflects that new information. Which means that barring any new information, the price of the stock should remain fairly stable in the 30 to 90 days after the earnings announcement. Makes sense, right? Yes, except that is not what actually happens. There is research which shows that in the 30 to 90 days after the earnings announcement, stock prices tend to drift in the direction of the earnings surprise. In other words, Firms which post positive earnings surprise continue to experience an increase in their stock price over the next 30 to 90 days, while firms which post a negative earnings surprise continue to experience a decline in the stock price over the next 30 to 90 days. And it is precisely this phenomenon which is called the post earnings announcement drift or PEED. One of the most dramatic documentations of this phenomenon was done by Rendleman, Jones, and Latane in 1982. These guys took a large sample of firms, calculated their earnings surprise on the day of the earnings announcement, and then sorted the firms based on the magnitude of their earnings surprise, from highest to lowest. They then divided the sample into 10 equally sized buckets or deciles, so that the top decile included 10% of the companies with the highest earnings surprise, and the bottom decile included 10% of the companies with the lowest earnings surprise. And after that, they looked at how these 10 portfolios performed over the next 90 days compared to the overall market. The results they found are nothing short of fascinating. For one, they found that on average, the higher the magnitude of the earnings surprise, the greater the returns earned by portfolio companies on the day of the announcement. Far more interestingly though, the authors found that the firms with the highest positive earnings surprise continued to outperform the market over the next 90 days. And similarly, firms with the highest negative earnings surprise continue to underperform the market over the next 90 days. Now, a natural question to ask is why? Why do stock prices drift in this manner? Well, one explanation that has been put forth by researchers is that investors, due to some behavioral quirks, tend to underreact 
to both positive and negative news. In other words, due to some behavioral biases, investors are slow to process or act in response to the true information content of positive and negative news. So one such behavioral bias is called conservatism, which states that once individuals have formed an impression, they're slow to change that impression in the face of new information. That sound like you? But isn't that amazing? If you were looking to earn superior investment returns, apparently all you had to do was to wait for companies to announce their earnings and then purchase the stocks of companies with large positive earnings or prices. And here you were thinking that you needed a time machine to figure out the right stocks to buy. Well, it is earnings season at the time of recording this video, and I know what you're thinking. But before you go out on a stock buying spree, keep in mind that A, in the investment world, historical performance is seldom a good indicator of future performance. And B, it's been a good 30, 40 years since PEED was first documented. So most sophisticated investors already know about it. In fact, there is some recent research which shows that buying the stocks of companies with positive earnings surprises is no longer as profitable as it used to be, if at all. That said, there are more refined and sophisticated versions of this trading strategy that have been documented more recently. And I'll share some of those with you in a separate video. For now, this is all the information that you need. Uh, I, I mean need. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.